So what do they want us to do? They want us to evaluate the function at several x values near zero and use the results to estimate the limit. So all they're telling us to do is plug in values really, really close to zero and see what we get. So we're just going to do that. We're just going to plug in something like x equals 0 0.0001 and something like x equals negative 0 0.0001. Because see how x equals 0 is in the middle of that. Well, first off, what happens if you plug in x equals 0? Look how you get 0 over 0. You just get undefined. So that's why we can't just plug in x equals 0. Because that's always the first idea. Instead, we have to plug in these values really close to 0. Since plugging in 0 is not allowed. So here's how we're going to do that efficiently. We're going to write out this function. f of x equals x over the square root of x plus 1, minus 1. So honestly, we can see our answer right there. And But we don't need to look at that right now. We need to stay focused, because all we want to do is we want to plug in f of 0 0.00001. And you see we get roughly 2. And then you plug in f of negative point zero 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 one and you see you get also roughly two just on the other side of two you add more zeros to make it get closer and closer and you see it gets closer and closer to two from both sides and so that means that this limit as x approaches zero is equal to two and you can see that from the graph you can see that very easily from the graph that when x equals zero it looks like y is getting closer to two but what's really cool, hopefully this will work with Desmos, is that as we hover over, we can see that when x equals 0, it's undefined. And it actually shows that by putting a hole there. But that doesn't change the fact that that's not what we were trying to find here. We weren't trying to find f of 0. f of 0 is undefined. But the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is 2. And we can see that by plugging in numbers really close to 0. And we can see that by just looking at the graph.